Hi everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. We've driven down to Tarpon Springs and it is the capital of sponges. They do have the sponge docks here, but they also have a lot of shops. It's a very popular and touristy area. As you can see, so much going on and it is about 1.30 in the afternoon. It's a nice overcast day around 78, so perfect weather for taking a walk around. We just have to find some parking. There are several parking, public parking areas. Most of them are charged or there is a fee. We did end up finding parking in a paid parking lot. Now remember, this is a very touristy area. Uh, here, it was $12 to park if you have credit cards, but across the street, they actually had about two hour parking for $5 or all day if you're paying cash for 10 bucks. We're starting on the east side of this area. And we're just gonna take a walk down and see what there is. So here's Tarpon Springs Visitor Center. I'm sure they have a lot of brochures and information, but I want to take a quick walk down here where the boats are. Said pedestrians were welcome. There are tons of restaurants here. We might actually eat later. I just had lunch, so I am not hungry at all. Oh, look. Look at that pontoon tiki boat. That is way cool. Nothing really to show, just boats and a restaurant. And we're gonna continue on. Oh, the tiki boat is a cruise. When we were getting parked, the lady at the parking area was trying to sell us a boat ride. Is that, what was it, like $27 for yeah. an adult? Yeah. Sponge, Arama, what? Oh, the dolphin cruise. The sponge back here, back here, the demonstration, the outlet store. Spongerama Sponge Factory. They do have a free exhibit center in here. But it's basically just a souvenir shop, I believe. Yeah, they got sponge demonstrations and all that kind of Oh, okay. Sponge demonstrations. <laughs> You sit right there. Wait, hold on. Okay. Come on. Welcome to the Spongerama. Here's some information if you want to pause and read. I'll slowly scroll down. Not sure if you'll be able to read that or not. Okay, I was right. It is basically like a gift star. Oh, look at the sponges. And this is what they're known for. Oh, those soaps do smell good. Oh, this is lavender soaps. Wow, oh, that's interesting. Look at this huge monster. Oh, rhymes? Oh, geez. It's amazing. Windows underneath there. And I go down the islands and just, I just snorkel on it. Oh, I really? Think. It's really neat. You see them alive and everything. Oh, yeah, I bet. Look at that one. It's actually on a coral. That's beautiful. Oh, look at this display. So they're calling these the whole yellow sponge. They just feel like a very dense sponge. That's pretty cool. They have a lot for sale here. Here's some of the prices. Small is about 16, medium 21, large 30, and extra large is 45. Look at this one here. Isn't that pretty cool? Oh, wow. That's neat, I'm sure. Little fish or whatever yeah. lived in there, or crabs. Oh, look at this massive one here at the counter. They have another display here with coral. That's neat. 
What a very cool shop. I'm glad I went in there. Oh. You nice. can stand Live music. Oh, look. <laughs> Scuba Man. It was actually a lot busier when we first got here, but it's, yeah, I think it's thinned out. That's where we actually parked in here. Dolphin Adventures, Island Cruises, they got a lot of cruises here. And I guess they just go all through the inlets and stuff like that. They said they docked at an island. Oh, they docked at an island? Yeah. Oh, look at that cool vehicle. Oh, more sponges. <laughs> more sponges? Oh my God, look at this bike. <laughs> Looks like it had fallen into the ocean, but I think they actually glued them on. How neat. Here's the waterway. That's what I was trying to get a shot of earlier, but this is definitely a better view. We'll be walking along the waterway here. one of their boats. Oh, look at They have a bunch of the um, sponges hanging from up top. Some on the boat as well. So Jeff was saying that most of the divers came from the Mediterranean. Holy moly, look at all the sponges and back there too. Guess it's a very lucrative business. Shipped all over the world. Yeah, they are shipped all over the world. Look at some of these catamarans. Look at the big blue one over there. That's a pretty one. <laughs> In memory of the spongers of Tarpon Springs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Statue. Saying that since the 1880s, Tarpon Springs has been known for its sponges, and by the 1930, over 200 sponge boats operated out of Tarpon. That's pretty cool. So here's some more information. I'm not sure if you can actually read that, but you're more than welcome to try. Okay. Very neat through here, but yes, yeah, definitely touristy. Still fun to walk in these areas. I mean, a lot of people don't come here for nothing, so there's obviously interesting things to see and do here. What is that? Limani. Oh, it's just a food place. Oh, look at that. shells in the window. <laughs> Those are some pretty cool ones there. I like the ones with the pink inside. Pretty nice. Oh, they have a trolley system here. Well, actually, it's more just a bus shaped like a trolley. Hella's Restaurant. That's always looks so busy. I'm sure it's a popular place. So it's authentic Greek cuisine. Wow, these river cruises are only $12. That's not bad. Take the baby free. Join us for... Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Nice. Obviously, they're pet friendly on the cruises. He said dogs are free. We're getting into the newer area and the newer shops definitely like the more rustic older shops back behind us but this is cool as well seems more like clothing 
than anything else. All right, I think we're getting close to the end. The roundabout is coming up here. We'll continue on a little further. Tarpon Springs Olive Oil Company, so they make olive oil. That's pretty cool. The Jerky Emporium. Sweeties Ice Cream. Ooh, ice cream. 44 flavors. Boozy treats and cold beer. So if you have a husband and he gets bored easily, they have the husband daycare center. Need time to relax, need time to yourself. I guess that's here at the wines at the dock. They even have a pink panda tea bar. I didn't realize there was gonna be so many interesting shops and things to look at. Speaking of interesting, tattoo gumball machine, I guess, get what you get. So you don't get to choose your tattoo. They just put it on you. That's, that's bold. Here's the tattoo shop here. <laughs> Tarpon Springs Tattoos. Huh. Do I? Oh yeah, they have some nice murals on the building. I like the mermaid. I think we're at the end here. And there's Waterfront Grill and Pelican Point Seafood, which Jeff said is fresh seafood. Wow, look at their outdoor deck there. Seems very busy, a popular place. So right by Rusty Valley's, there is another public parking. This one is $10. I think that's cash. A lot of them are cash. It's cash only, yeah. The reason why we like the other one is because they accepted cards. Okay, so we're going to take a walk down the other side of the road and see what's over here. Wow, nice old VW bus. Pretty cool. It's laid with all the stickers, I guess, places they visited. Well, I love this kind of top screen up here. Pretty cool. <laughs> Look at the cute little puppy. Okay, so we've made it to this side where the shops start. There's more touristy shops. What is this? The Spiceman's Kitchen. And a rock shop. Oh, yeah. All the dogs saying hello. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Also, they have tarpon leather in this shop. Another parking area. So there's definitely parking, but this one's completely full, I believe. Cute as a button boutique. You guys want to go on 215? Get your party. No. You call back. We're trying to sell another Everything from water to uh, tour for 12 bucks. Okay. Oh, I like that mural on the building here. <laughs> Look at the man, like, encompassed with all the sponges. This is how they harvest sponges down in the ocean floor. <laughs> and they got the scary octopus over here. Sea turtle. Very nice. Oh, Hella's Bakery. Look at that. Looks yummy. Yeah, definitely a very busy place here. And then here's the restaurant. Wow, so busy in there. People waiting. soap company. The first shop did handmade soaps as well. It was very pungent. It started to make me cough a little bit. Oh, look it. They have, I guess, homemade cigars here. Uh, Radiant Ed. They would love that. <laughs> I guess not all of them are. And that's Dreams of Cuba. They have a lot of beach shops. Reminds me back in Myrtle Beach. Had a lot of these. Another one, huh? Oh, look. It's a flamingo painted like a cow, I guess. 
too cool. Look at that lizard with its tongue. More shells. Oh, Finding Nemo. Oh, nice. A street performer. What is this? The Sponge Exchange. Oh, wow, there's tons of shops in there. We have a nice old boat here and a fake shark, plastic. Restaurants and also more shops. Oops, and dog saying hello. Cool, it's a 42 foot sponge diving boat. Here's some information if you want to pause and read. Wow, this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was. And this shopping center goes pretty far back. <laughs> My name is Rico. Please do not touch or sit on me. This kind of reminds me of the river walk. Not as cool though, because there's not a big river with boats running through it. So here at the end they have a statue of Neptune and a fountain. I think it's a wishing fountain. I see a bunch of coins in there. Alright, I think this is the end of it. Jeff's going to take a restroom break before we continue on. But I'm glad today is an overcast day. Feels nice. Right, puppies? Right. So it's saying that Greek Town and St. Michael's Shrine, which was established in 1887, is somewhere this way. My favorite store, not actually mine, but that's the name of the store. Just a bunch of knickknacks and stuff like that. Ooh. We might have to come back to, ooh, a dessert shop. Uh, Cafe Cappuccino. Ooh, look at some of those desserts. Now I could definitely go for one of those. Look at that. Oh my God, here's some more desserts. Oh, look at the case full of desserts here. Nice. Wow, look at that Greek chocolate mousse. That looks delicious with a strawberry on top. Oh God, look at that one. Here, we've got to come back and continue that way to finish the loop. But geez, look, it continues on this way as well. Huh. Not so much on this side of the road, more on that. Mediterranean food. Uh, a lot of Greek cuisine. Another one there. Well, that's good to know. We could have just came out of this way. That was that little circle with the fountain. Did you find something? It's this place with the lights hanging underneath. Uh huh. Yeah. Dog friendly. Okay, now I get it. Greek Town Historic District. That's why there's a lot of Greek stuff. So here's some information if you want to pause and read. In 2014, Tarpon Springs Greek Town was listed as a historic district and traditional cultural property on the National Register of the Historic Places for its unique ethnic heritage. So here's some of the dishes that they have at the Authentic Greek Restaurant. Uh, so it looks like salmon. I'm not sure what that is. Squid or something. That looks good with the shrimp. Oh. 
Oh, look at a bucket of Fireball. Our friend Jake would love that for $15. And this is at the Tarpon Tap House. Costa's Cooler, established in 1977. All you can eat crab legs on Thursdays. All you can eat crab legs on Thursdays. Ooh. Nice. So here is some stuff going on their menu. Okay, I think we are going to turn around. There is Hacienda Corralejo. And I think that's it. All right, so we're gonna finish this and then we're gonna look for somewhere to maybe get a bite. Oh yeah, baklava. Oh, we're just looking, thank you. Oh, another Greek cookery here. And I think we're back to our parking lot. Wow, that was quick. Another street performer. I did want to try the Hellas, but that restaurant is just way too busy. So I think we're going to walk back down to Costa's. It seemed more of a relaxed environment and grab some lunch. We both decided to get some gyros. These are beef and lamb. Since we are at a Greek restaurant. Oh my God, look how big that monster is. It seems to be skewers and it alternates lamb and beef. And it rotates? And then it rotates in the heat lamp. It cooks it all day long. Oh, oh and that's then they what's just in carve this it off of there. Yeah. Okay, nice. Just so informative. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and dig into our gyros. Okay, let's try this monster beast right here. Oh my God, there's a lot going on there. Let me get some of those onions out. I know it's not Greek, but they had $4 margaritas, so I decided to get one of those. It's definitely messy, but the sauce on here, so good. So Jeff said it's a yogurt-based sauce. How do you like the lamb, Kellogg, huh? Like a little baby up there. <laughs> While Mumu's being good on the ground, she's the good girl. She behaves. She doesn't have to sit in my lap like Kellogg. Like hey, little bird. <laughs> get it. Get it. So we did get this free. They had the baklava. That's an original Greek sweet dish. Just looks like layered pastry with some kind of sugar. Do you know what's in it? I'm not sure exactly, but it looks like sugar and stuff. It's, it's really sweet. It tastes good. Crispy. Here you go. Y'all are just being begging. <laughs> no. Here you go. Here you go. Get it. Get it. Yeah, it does taste like it has honey in it, doesn't it? So it's uh, some kind of pastry with chopped nuts and honey. That's what it tastes like. Huh. Very nice lunch there. I had thought to go back to that coffee shop and get one of those desserts. I think that baklava did it for me. I mean, it doesn't compare to some of those desserts. Those desserts looked amazing, but yeah, I'm just kind of full, not in the mood. Okay, well, we made it back out here. It still seems busy. It's about 3.30. Well, everybody, we're going to go ahead and head back to camp. It's about 45 minutes away. I hope you enjoy the tour here at Tarpon Springs. Okay, go inside. So hopefully we'll see you next time. If you want to check out more videos, they'll be over here. Or if you want to subscribe or check out Patreon, it'll be right there. Bye for now.